Okay, so that then brings us finally to what will become the definitive uh, kidney. And in order to understand what's happening there, we need to look at a somewhat different picture. Here we see the mesonephros. Here we see the metanephric blastema. And right over here, we see a little duct emerging from the mesonephric duct. This is an important region here, so let's take a look at this a little bit higher power, closer up. Here we are. So again, here's the mesonephros, there's the mesonephric duct, there's the metanephric blastema, which is the most caudal end of that urogenital ridge. And now, let me call your attention to this little duct right here. What we see happening here, here's that mesonephric duct, which we already said drains into the gut tube, the caudal end of the gut tube called the urogenital sinus. And we see that before the mesonephric duct reaches there, there's a branch that comes off of it. A duct branches off of that duct, and that duct is called the ureteric bud, the ureteric bud. And as that name implies, that ureteric bud is in part going to become the ureter. And what's going to happen is that the ureteric bud is going to grow toward the metanephric blastema. And what will happen is the ureteric bud will induce the metanephric blastema to differentiate into kidney structures, definitive kidney structures, but more specifically, it will induce it to develop into the collect the I'm sorry, the filtration portion of the kidney. In other words, the nephrons, much of the cortex of the kidney. So the arrival of the ureteric bud at the metanephric blastema induces the metanephric blastema to develop into the nephrons, which largely composes the cortex of the kidney. In turn then, once the metanephric blastema is induced to do that, the metanephric blastema induces the ureteric bud to start branching. So the distal end of the ureteric bud starts to widen out, starts to branch, and those branches will become, the widened out part will become the pelvis, renal pelvis, and then the first branches will become the major calyces, the next branches will become the minor calyces, and the branches beyond that will become the collecting tubules. So what we're saying is that the adult kidney really has two separate origins. Most of the cortex of the kidney, or to say it in a functional sense, the filtration portion of the kidney is developed from the metanephric blastema, which is the caudal end of the urogenital ridge, whereas the conducting portion of the kidney, which is mainly in the medulla, the collecting tubules, calyces, renal pelvis, and the ureter itself are developed from the ureteric bud. So the, the, adult, the adult kidney is developed from two origins, the metanephric blastema and the ureteric bud. And so what we're saying is that most of the cortex, which for the most part contains the uh, filtration portion of the kidney is being derived from the metanephric blastema and most of the medulla of the kidney which largely contains the conducting portion of the kidney is derived from the ureteric bud the distal end the more caudal end of which becomes the ureter so this upper end is the part that branched so the adult kidney has those two separate origins so that that concludes our discussion of the adult and embryonic kidney.